Record button. Dimmed button. Are you set? So here we have a dental stone tool with some tiles molded into the tool and uh, the dental stone being grinded away so that the tools are totally exposed onto the mirror and Graham here is busy with a 120 grid. What do they talk, call the 120 grid? They've got a name for it, a nickname for the 120. It says it on the little container. Have you got the little container there? I think so. Silicon cartridge, 120, that's all. Oh, okay. Because I know the other ones have, the 80 grid has got what? The hogback. They call it hogback. <laughs> Can you show me the tiles for the camera, please? Just want to see your tiles. Oh, thank you very much. So it's all, you can see it's grinded away. So it wasn't too hard to grind it away, though. No, it's fine. Okay, thank you. Button. Hello, YouTube friends and fellow telescope makers. Today we have a lap to be made. This is our silicone grit, quite nice and soft as you can see. That's the one side, that's the other side. Just placed it on the newspaper. Here's our electric frying pan with the resin. And uh, this is what we call the fire and, brims fire, and, fire and brimstone corner. So, yeah, so later on we'll see the dental stone too on top of this with some pitch. Button. Record button. 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 So you're putting enough pitch for a, more or less a 10 inch mirror That's right, it is a 10 inch or a 10 inch tool. It's a 10 inch mirror, so it's a full size tool. Full size tool. Oops. And today is the 8th of February 2014 and this is our telescope class in Johannesburg. So that's nice hot pitch, dangerous, fire and brimstone. 
So you, you don't mess around with this stuff. It's like a postman said, straight from hell. <laughs> now I've seen that spo spoonful in that pan and it wasn't a pretty sight. All the facets are now filled with the pitch. What's it? Sulfur, resin, pitch. What's in the mix? I think sulfur, resin, and pitch. Not so carbon. Carbon. Same stuff we make oil out of. Okay. Some other stuff. Okay. Now this is good. Right. So the spoon is on its place. First time, the dental stone. Dental stone tool on the. Made last night. So you've molded it, molded the stone last night. Cool. The dental stone tool. So you're gently gonna press it down and get all the bubbles out. Try to avoid bubbles. Yeah. Alright, so that will take a while to dry. We'll check in a bit later. Oh, cool. Button. Button. All right, folks. So that's the 10-inch mirror with its, oh, well, actually a 10-inch tool, the dental stone tool. Our class's very first dental stone tool with pitch on. So a few minutes ago, you've seen the dental stone with tiles on. This one has pitch and will now be pressed onto that mirror to take the right shape. And you actually want, need some, uh, what's that, aluminium oxide? So, oh, is it cerium? Cerium oxide that we're going to press into the tool to make it polish the mirror. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and please, subs please subscribe. Button. Hello, hello. Yeah, um, this is the tool underneath with the mirror on top just to see if we have good contact with the tool. The tool in the mirror looks like it's got proper contact and then the white or the slight discoloration you see there will be the cerium oxide that we pressed into the pitch that will be used to polish. See you later. Right, this is Bosman's lab without the mirror on top. It's nice to see that you can make micro facets. We actually molded micro facets into the lab. So you don't have to make the micro facets with the first press. Suppose you can still make your micro facets with a smaller piece of cloth or netting. Button. So your focal length at the moment is definitely more than two meters. Um, that's not what you want. <laughs> but so you must still work. Yeah, no. That's the that's the main we can now use the other one to give you an idea of how So what's it point point four five? Point four oh five.
you on point four to eliminate this on the small one. Thank you.